Hey guys, so today we are going to look at liquidity, something that Alpha Investment really has never talked about at all in his videos. And I'm going to show you the liquidity of his MetaZoo cards. When is the last time any of these cards have sold? So according to TCG Player, he has seven MetaZoo cards and the ask price on them are very high. But I'm going to disprove to you and why I believe they are very, very basically half, maybe 20% of what they're currently asking for. So one important thing to understand is eBay buy it now. You can ask for a pencil, a million dollars. It doesn't mean anyone will ever pay for it. And in fact, it would look and eBay wouldn't want these listings because it would look incredibly foolish, right? For eBay to have all these pencils listed at a million dollars. That is the same thing here. I think it is probably one of the most foolish looking things for MetaZoo to have a bunch of promos supposedly listed at a hundred um, even more money and then have no liquidity on these promos as they haven't sold for some of them for many, many months, right? So we're going to take a look at these promos. I do think this is worth talking about uh, because, let's be honest here, um, people are trying to sell their collection. I'm trying to buy a large Magic or large Pokemon collection this weekend, and it's hard to explain this sometimes of, oh, why can't you just pay me what TCG player says? Why can't you just pay me TCG Marketplace? It's because nothing has sold for three months, so the current price of TCG Marketplace is not correct. Um, there are a lot of items that just definitely do not move. And Pokemon, they tend to be vintage items that are much more expensive. And the listings are really, really high. So then you have the eBay comp, the vintage. It's not easy, right? It's actually very difficult in today's Marketplace because of the problems with liquidity, that there's not enough volume. So here are the, uh, oh, there's eight of them. Here are the eight Rudy promos. I have all eight of them, I think, bought up. Maybe I don't have nice metal, but I'm pretty much sure I should have eight, eight of them. And you can see the prices of, you know, Rudy Claws. And I'm going to tell you that these prices are not at all realistic. And I'm going to prove it to you one by one by one. And this is my point about MetaZoo is the prices people are asking for cards are not real because no one has ever paid for those cards uh, recently. Uh, so take a look at that. You have cards over $100, market price over $100. This is something you have to learn when buying collections. You can't just go off TCG lows or mids. Uh, or Definitely you cannot use TCG marketplace, right? Because if you're buying these Rudy promos, you're getting slaughtered on the back end because I'm going to show you the liquidity. I'm going to show you why these promos are worthless. I am going to make a really obvious thing about it. So here you have uh, one of the Rudy promos. Market price is 125. The last one sold for 109 on December 25th on Christmas. Uh, and one sold on 921 for 135 and 920. So for this year, and you know nothing has sold. So this one is actually not that terrible, but you can see the large, large drop, right? But the market price is still at 125. I think that's a Rudy call. Somebody maybe Rudy bought it himself. Here is another one that sold for 125. Oh, you know what? This might be the same one. Mm hmm. It might be the same screenshot. <laughs> kind of sick. I don't know. Is that the screen same screenshot or does he have two of them? So that's Rudy Nice Metal. Rudy Claws. Rudy Claws. Rudy Totally Not a Timmy. Okay, anyway. Regardless, you can kind of see that. So it, that's the Rudy Claws promo at 125. All right, here's another one. You can see that the market price is $29, $30, but no one has bought a single promo since November 20th. That's not good, guys. That's that's really bad that no one has bought a promo for over a month 
on the largest website. This is actually crazy bad news for anyone owning this promo because what you're saying is it will take you two months to sell it if you're fortunate enough to sell it. And we're going to continue down the list. Here's another promo. Uh, last one sold. One nine. So that was pretty recent. So again, I'm including all the good ones. I have to redo it, right? But we're going to include all the good ones. And one seven. And this one is 2461. A little bit of volume. A little bit of liquidity, right? But let's uh, take a look at the next few ones. You know, I must have screenshotted one of them twice and then missed screenshotting another. There should be eight promos. For whatever reason, I thought there were only seven. Here you have one that is market price 49, but it's selling for 35. It's selling for 30, way below market price. But so market price has not been updated yet. And you have one that sold on the 5th. Uh, in terms of volume and sales, you definitely want to see multiple sales, uh, at least a few sales in a week, right? For a card that you yourself want to sell. So liquidity, like none of these promos are moving uh, to create a liquid market that they need. Here is one that never sold. I forget which one this was. I'm going to do a better video later, but I forget what there there is a card that Rudy has promoted and it's been around for a long time. It just hasn't sold ever. It's never sold one time, so it has a market price of zero. Um, you know what? It's called Rudy Totally Not a Timmy. That's the one that uh, has never ever sold, therefore it has no market price. And I think the market price is not accounting for how long things took to sell. Oh, and this is the Rudy Good Metal, right? You can see that one metal sold on the 9th. And then, uh, I mean, for an, it's a long time since anyone sold a metal. And the last time somebody bought a metal, it was for more than half off the previous buy. And it looks like only two people have ever bought metals on TCG Player, which is a large website, right? It's not good, Rudy. It's not good for the Rudy investors.